All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, the conversation around Stellar Blade has been heating up regarding its sales ever since it released in Japan and released worldwide. And apparently this game is selling out like hotcakes. Apparently it's one of the number one sellers in Japan, rightfully so. Nobody, I don't think anybody ever thought this was not going to be the case, but it's turning into a massive juggernaut. And it makes you wonder, regarding all the drama that's surrounding Stellar Blade right now, just why don't we have more support when it comes to free Stellar Blade on the petition? The perimeter's quiet. Yeah, a little too quiet. Mm. You know, it's amazing to me that Helldivers 2 was able to get almost 300,000 negative reviews in simply 48 hours on Steam, but it looks like the petition is struggling to get 100,000 signatures, even though that petition is, uh, you know, basically almost worldwide at this point. I know it's got Japanese people, many different countries signing that petition, but it is doing very well. Don't get it twisted, and it's going to keep rising, but it looks like Grums is about to send out that petition very soon to shift up in Sony, so it looks like we're running out of time. But in this article from Sports Kita, we're going to talk about the actual sales in Japan and what's going on over there. So let's talk about this video, guys. But of course, before we do, if you are new here, just consider hitting that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it and like the video to push us out into that YouTube algorithm. It says, while Sony is yet to share any official numbers, it looks like Stellar Blade is already turning into a sales juggernaut in the Japanese market, according to recent observations by a trusted insider on social media. The game is selling out in Japan so much that retail stores are reportedly limiting the copy to just one per person. This situation shouldn't come as a surprise since Stellar Blade was rumored to sell close to 1 million units in just 24 hours, ladies and gentlemen, at launch. 1 million units in just 24 hours. Now, when we were talking about this game, we knew this was game was going to be massively successful, okay? Even with all the drama that was happening online initially that was on our side, right? Like, we had a lot of people that were complaining, you know, journalists, gaming journalists, all those people were complaining about how sexy Eve was, and then all of a sudden, the narrative completely shifted about a week before release about how it's okay to call her sexy, but she's just boring, et cetera, et cetera. Well, Apparently, that didn't really do anything because the game still sold massively. Now, you got to wonder, just how well could this game have sold had they not censored it in the first place? How good it could it have sold if there wasn't news about it censoring two days before its release? You know, I keep thinking about that as I read articles like this talking about Stellar Blade. And you got to imagine, the game would have been even more successful by a large margin. Look what happened with Hogwarts Legacy when people try to boycott stuff and make, the, you, know, make you uh, feel bad about buying a game. This this game would have been so insanely successful, but Sony said, you know what? We're willing to lose some sales just to uh, push our own ideology and censor the game. The situation shouldn't come as a surprise since Stellar Blade was rumored to sell close to 1 million units in 24 hours at launch. Seems like Sony may eventually reveal similar to even higher numbers when it decides to share the actual news on the game sales following an anticipated global debut. Reliable inside, uh, industry insider and social media user Genki uh, Japan recently shared a crucial update while mentioning that Stellar Blade is reportedly selling out in Japan. The user revealed that big camera Ake, uh, I'm sorry, how do you say that? Akihabara. Uh, people have been restricted to a single game copy per person. According to an insider, it seems like the PlayStation 5 game is doing exceptionally well in terms of sales. Hence, the stocks are depleting quickly. This may be why consumers are facing restrictions when trying to purchase copies of the game. The same point was also highlighted by analyst Dr. Shikan Toto of Kantan Games. Now, Again, guys, I'm, I'm not surprised this is a thing. You know, just because it's a South Korean release doesn't mean that this game would have been massive in Japan. I mean, it basically ticks all the boxes uh, that you would expect from this game. But from what I'm hearing, a lot of people are upset in Japan over the censorship, not of the costumes, but more so the censorship of the gore, you know, because the gore is something that gets censored in Japan quite often anyway. So they, they saw the same exact post that we saw regarding that the game was going to be uncensored everywhere, and then they realized that the gore was was heavily censored and they seem to be very upset about that they feel like they were lied to it says while sharing genki japan's post dr shakan revealed that personally saw stellar blade getting sold out over the weekend in japan which is a very rare case he also predicted that this game would prove to be a big success in the country and like i said it's not too shocking 
that this game would be massively successful in Japan. It checks all the boxes. It looks like a game that would honestly be developed in Japan. It has the same kind of gameplay, same kind of look to it. So yeah, I'm not too shocked. Uh, while Japan is turning into a huge market for shipped up PS5 console exclusive, it has recently succeeded in reaching the top spot in France. According to the latest report, Stellar Blade opened to number one position on the French uh, sale charts. It easily managed to outperform other big releases like Top Spin 2K25 and Nintendo's Princess Peach Showtime. Now that is interesting to me. And it's even more interesting to me because you guys got to remember, one of the people that attacked Stellar Blade was IGN France, right? Like you had a writer and uh, editor-in-chief over at IGN France make this whole big debacle about uh, Eve and Stellar Blade and how they attacked um, the creator of Eve from Stellar Blade. And they said that, oh, he's never seen a real woman before, even though the guy is married to an extremely hot woman. <laughs> they, they said that he, you know, they did the typical childish insults that they always do whenever they see a female female that is standardized beauty right like they're not they're, it's not the safe horny kind you know like trans androgynous characters that's the safe horny kind that's what you're allowed to sexualize when you're talking about mainstream gaming but in terms of uh standardized beauty like eve yeah you're not allowed to sexualize that you're not even allowed to even look at it it needs to be covered up it needs to be censored it needs to be hidden that's what people like ig and france think and that's what western game developers and urinalists think as well so it's not too shocking that uh you know this is a thing but i do say it's pretty damn hilarious that it sold out in france and it's number one in that in that country i think that's pretty damn awesome so shout out to france for uh, pushing eve but again we got to talk about the petition man this petition is not doing as well as it can be eve could be way more successful if it wasn't censored i'm telling you right now stellar blade as a whole is a fantastic game with amazing gameplay but unfortunately it got stained and that's the biggest issue this game got stained by bad press literally one or two days before release it happened right before first you had the hard r nonsense that nobody cared about but, but then everybody found out about the outfits and that's what they really cared about you know if it wasn't for the hard r controversy chances are nobody would have found out about the outfits until release and that probably would have made things worse they probably would have made a lot more people refund the game than already did i know of some people that did refund the game now me personally I'm not going to refund the game. I'm just going to try to advocate and fight for its uncensoring, and hopefully it works, but obviously time will tell. You know, we we as gamers have been getting W after W lately, and it's fantastic to see, but it looks like Stellar Blade will probably not be uncensored, and it will unfortunately be an L that we're just going to have to take, but we need to go down fighting. We need to go down in a blaze of glory, and we need to do everything we can to bolster that petition as high as we possibly can. So if you have not signed up for the free Stellar Blade petition, it's getting closer and closer to 90k um signatures please make sure you guys go and uh, so, uh sign up for that it's going to help it out as much as possibly can but it is going to get shipped out to korea and to sony studios very soon so if you don't sign now you're never going to get the chance to so let's see what happens after we uh ship this thing out let's see what grum says from the petition and if things happen in our favor great if they don't happen in our favor well that's going to stain the legacy of Stellar Blade, and it's quite unfortunate. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, consider leaving me a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.